Hi everyone, it's Elina. I am a holistic health coach and in this video I am going to discuss health span. I will also explain five movements of the spine and show simple exercises you can do daily for better spine health. Health span is the period of life when we are in good health and our health span and biological age are affected by genetics. But then there are many external factors that we can control, such as our diet, exercise, stress, smoking, sleeping habits and our physical environment. Chronological age is the number of years a person has been alive and is unchangeable, whereas biological age is the age of our bodies and cells based on physiological evidence. And these two might not be the same. For instance, if you are very fit and healthy for your age, your biological age can be much lower than your chronological age. There are many amazing books about this topic like Lifespan by Dr. David Sinclair, Outlife by Dr. Peter Atia, and The Longevity Diet by Dr. Walter Longo. So let's start with exercise. Exercise is amazing because it can make us younger on a cellular level by lengthening our telomeres. Telomeres serve as protective gap on the end of the chromosomes to protect them from damage and decay over time. As we become older, our telomeres tend to become significantly shorter. But studies show how those who exercise more have longer telomeres that appear to be almost a decade younger than those who live a more sedentary lifestyle. I believe in simplicity like walking more, taking the stairs and carrying our groceries. However, it's also important to do physical activities where we use all our muscle groups to keep our bones and muscles strong. And we need to feel challenged. I love bodyweight exercises like Pilates and yoga. They tone our bodies and encourage us to go within and connect with our deepest muscles. When we become more in tune with our bodies and breath, we are able to take greater control of our movement, improve our posture and correct movement patterns that no longer serve us. I just had my morning Pilates workout with a ball and I also filmed a couple of clips for this YouTube video. Now I feel I need something hydrating, so I will prepare my morning green smoothie. I think I will use this uh, kale that I bought yesterday as well as mango, some uh, lemon juice and banana. I will also add this uh, premium green super food powder, so let's see how it goes. So this is the smoothie and I will enjoy this. I think the best form of physical activity is what we enjoy doing most. We can incorporate into our daily lives and we can keep on doing for the rest of our lives. Yet we don't want to overexercise because that can lead to injuries and also make us age faster. Exercise always causes the body to undergo stress. Dinner at Lucy in the Sky. We come to this cozy rooftop restaurant quite often. The views are amazing to all directions in Helsinki region, especially during the summer months when we have very long daylight hours in Finland. There are always vegan and gluten-free options on the menu. I had roasted eggplant with pomegranate seeds and vegan chocolate mousse with crumble and mango sorbet for dessert. When it comes to nutrition, I think the most important thing is to choose real unprocessed foods and organic whenever possible because food is raw material that builds our bodies. I also think that gut health matters a lot for our health span. When we have great digestion, we are able to eliminate toxic waste and as a result, our immune system improves, our skin gets better and we have more energy. We can support our gut health by eating prebiotics, probiotic foods and polyphenols. Prebiotics are types of fiber that feed your friendly gut bacteria and allows the gut bacteria to produce many nutrients like short-chain fatty acids. 
For instance, onions, bananas and apples are rich in fiber. Probiotics are live bacteria and are found in fermented foods like yogurt, sauerkraut and miso. Polyphenols are plant compounds with antioxidant and other health benefits. For instance, berries, dark chocolate and hazelnuts are very high in polyphenols. We also need healthy fats to keep our brains and hormones functioning optimally. Avocado, chia seeds, walnuts and olive oil are great options. Especially omega-3 fatty acids are essential for the brain and to keep our skin beautiful. It's much better to get nutrients from real foods than from supplements, but of course there might be situations where we need a high quality supplement. If you are looking to add more nutrients and enzymes into your diet, in a simple whole food based way, start consuming sprouts. So I have a sprouting yard, so I like to grow them myself at home. Sprouts are seeds that have germinated and become very young plants. In general, the sprouting process increases nutrient levels, making sprouts richer in protein, folate, vitamin C, and many other nutrients than non-sprouted plants. I usually add one to three tablespoons of seeds into the jar, let the seeds soak in clean water overnight. After that, I will rinse and drain the seeds with fresh water twice a day, every morning and evening, and allow them grow for two to seven days depending on the seeds. I like to add sprouts into my green smoothies and salads. The health of our spine can have a huge impact on the quality of our life and how we feel in our bodies. In our daily life, we often forget to move our spine through its full range of motion, and as a result, our spine becomes stiffer. There are five major movements that the spine can make. Flexion is a movement that rounds the spine forward and down and stretches the back. Examples include child's pose, seated forward bend, and cat pose. In spinal extension poses like sphinx and cobra pose, the spine lengthens upwards and backwards. These are also known as back bends. We want to make the spinal extension as even as possible throughout the spine to avoid causing compression in lower back. Then there is spinal rotation like seated twist or supine twist that twists the spine. Lateral flexion or side bending creates more length along the side body. Seated side stretch and kneeling side bend are amazing examples. And axial extension poses like downward facing dog and plank pose decompress and vertically elongate the spine. During a well-designed yoga or Pilates class, we will typically go through all these five movements of the spine. Even though exercise is wonderful, we should not underestimate the value of sleep and rest because during the sleep, our bodies, including our brain, can recover. Also, our skin looks so much better in the morning after a good night's sleep because sleep encourages healthy blood flow to our skin. If you feel chronically tired and cannot sleep well, I highly recommend paying attention to your caffeine intake. I love a cup of coffee in the morning, it just makes me so happy and energized. However, last year I decided not to drink any caffeine after midday, including green tea. This is because the quarter life of caffeine is around 12 hours, meaning that if we drink a coffee at 10 a.m., we still have a quarter of that caffeine circulating in our brain at 10 p.m. As a result, the quality of my sleep is so much better now and I feel mentally sharper throughout the day. So that was everything I wanted to share this time. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please remember to subscribe, have a fantastic day and I will see you next time.